Hey everybody, Kevin Elliott here with Home Dabbler. I'm out here in the yard today. I have to build a cage around my blueberries uh, because the birds and the squirrels keep uh, stealing them all. So I'm going to protect them. With this cage, I'm going to build it out of some chain link fencing material. These poles, I really like these. They're versatile. I'll do a video on those separately. But I'm also going to use one of my favorite tools ever for this job. So I thought it would be the perfect time to do another episode of Tool Tips with Home Dabla. This, my friends, is one of the best, most versatile tools known to humankind. It's called a reciprocating saw. Look at this thing. Isn't it mean looking? It's most commonly known as a sawzall, okay? And the reason they call it a sawzall is because it literally does that. This thing can cut through just about any material there is. It's made for tearing down walls and going in where you don't have to worry about it being pretty. You don't have to worry about it being nice and clean cut. You just want to get something chopped up. It comes with a lot of different blades. You can get, this one's made for, um, it's an all-purpose type blade. You can get them for metal, you can get them for wood, you can get them to cut nails. But the blade just shoots up and down like this. I want to show you how it works really quick. On this metal bar, it's going to cut through it like butter. One little technique with the Sawzall. This is a pretty violent tool, okay? It's not, it's, 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 it's just rough, it's ready to go. So what you have to do is, you see this shield right here? This guard? That's made to really push up hard against the material you're cutting. Because if you don't do that, the saw is going to whip you around. The saw is going to <laughs> it's going to reciprocate you. So what you have to do is put some pressure against that plate right there and let the saw be the only thing that moves. All right, so let me show you how it's done. Put my headgear on because it's kind of loud. Just like that. It's toast. That's a reciprocating saw. So, if you have some heavy duty stuff you want to do around your house, if you're uh, renoing a house or you want to do a project like this where it's not really that important of making pretty gorgeous little cuts, look at the reciprocating saw. It's versatile, it's powerful, and you can do just about anything with it. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tool Tips with Home Dabbler. Hope to see you next time. <laughs>